Well, we can expect that tomorrow's Friday. So those of you who felt like a Monday today, it's a two-day work week, so that's great. And today was our 10th day in a row of above average temperatures. I know it was cool in the 50s, but remember, our average high this time of year is 51. We've been above that now for 10 days in a row, and I have several more days in a row like that, even with rain on the radar. And that's what we have outside tonight. That's what the Chevy Weather Beast was checking out. It's light rain. It's nothing like the rain we're going to see Friday and Saturday. That rain will be a little heavier, it'll be more widespread, and it'll last a little longer. And that rain that is coming, as we open things up, you can look back to our southwest. All this rain is going to move over parts of central North Carolina in the coming days. So actually right now, one of the drier times we're going to have in the next 48 hours. And our temperatures, they're going to be strange over the next couple of days. Right now, many of us in the 40s and low 50s. These numbers will cool a little bit more tonight and then actually go up overnight. Happens about a handful of times throughout the year, and we're already jumping on that bandwagon on the second day of the new year. So one thing that's not going to change, we're going to keep the clouds around. Rain chances will stay small tonight. We might get a little extra rain overnight, and then small rain chances through tomorrow morning. But our temperatures, which will drop just a little bit overnight, and then are going to bump up a little more by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning actually going to be warmer than where we were this morning when we started off in the 30s. So here's the complex weather system. Obviously the rain sticking out like a sore thumb. That's our rain. But we've also got the warm front. We've got the area of low pressure that's going to help give us moisture, clouds, and rain. And then we've got a cold front that'll move through. And that's why it's going to be quite a wild temperature ride. Let's talk about the rain first of all. Pick it up overnight tonight when, again, temperatures will cool and then come up a little bit. So at midnight, we've got a couple scattered showers. A good part of the overnight hours and your early morning tomorrow will be dry, albeit cloudy. So if you do have to struggle back to work tomorrow morning for the second day this week, it's going to start off dry, albeit mostly cloudy. In fact, most of the morning will be dry. Here we are at lunchtime. You can see we're going to keep it mainly dry through then. And then it's the afternoon and evening that's going to bring us our best chance of rain on Friday. 3 o'clock, a couple of scattered showers start to move back in. I know there are a few kids on the year-round calendars who are going to be back at school tomorrow. Might have a couple of showers when the bus drops you off in the afternoon. Here we are Friday night, 6, 7 o'clock, better rain chances. And then as we get into late Friday night, here we are at 11 o'clock. That's when we could see some heavier rain widespread. And the overnight hours Friday into Saturday look to be fairly wet. And on Saturday morning, here we are at 6 a.m. Notice we have good rain chances Saturday morning. And then we get some dry time for the middle part of the day. Here we are at 3 o'clock. Maybe another quick shot of rain in the late afternoon. But by late Saturday night, we dry out and clear out. And that'll lead us to... Sunday's forecast, which I like the pick of the weekend, it's going to be dry and sunny, albeit cooler. So again, for tomorrow, our rain chances in the morning stay very small, but then they start to ramp up in the afternoon and really get going late Friday night to Saturday morning. That'll be our wettest time on the entire 10-day forecast. So again, with the rain, chances mainly in the afternoon, especially in the evening, and then mainly Saturday morning, then we're dry on Sunday. Temperatures, it's a whole nother ball game. Remember, we're warmer tomorrow, still mild Saturday, and then we cool off on Sunday. We stay in the 50s through Monday and Tuesday. Another quick chance of rain Tuesday, and then it gets chilly on Wednesday. Remember, we've been talking about that cold blast. That's next Wednesday, guys. And then look what happens. By late next week and next weekend, we start to warm up, and it is very possible we stay warm through the whole second half what? of January. Wow. January's not going to feel like January except for the middle of next week.